Hi guys, welcome to day 23 of Vlogmas. Um, if you are into vlogging content, then I have like over 200 and like 30 videos by now. I've lost count, so if you are into that kind of content, please hit the subscribe button. Um, and yeah, I mainly talk about spiritual things, philosophical things sometimes, or just sometimes like most of it is just like me sitting down and talking about anything that is on my mind for the day. Um, and I also do a, a few travel vlogs and stuff like that. So yeah, this is the content that has a lot of like this is my content has a lot of variety, so if you're into a channel variety, so you'll never get bored here. So hit the subscribe button, guys. Hit it. Hit the subscribe button. Sorry, that was aggressive. That was really aggressive. Anyway, today, um, I had no idea what to vlog about. I, I had no idea what to talk about, sorry. Um, but... I think that this is going to be a bit of a serious video, and um, I don't know, maybe just in the future if somebody stumbles upon uh, something like this, I don't, like, okay, the thing is I don't know how much I'm going to blurt out. I just usually just turn on the camera and say anything, but in case, in case I blurt out some things, um, there are some trigger warnings I want to do disclaim about, so like sexual assault, um, which now that I said sexual assault as a trigger warning, I might as well include that in today's video about, or you guys are going to be confused on why I said um, about a trigger warning for sexual assault and rape and such. So if that is a trigger of yours, please just like, uh, like just don't watch this video if you're not in a place to mentally challenge yourself to do so and such. Um, but last night I was just like talking to, to a friend and, um, like, we were, it was, like, a conversation that went from politics to him, like, moving to Mexico or something to me, like, suggesting that he should probably get a partner and shit, um, and build a house with her and stuff. <laughs> and then... I don't know. I guess it was just because it's it was 3 a.m. and sometimes around that time, you know, I'm thinking about stuff that is like bothering me throughout, like bothering me in my life. And um, I was thinking about relationships all of like yesterday, most of yesterday. I mean, last night. So, because we, my friend and I were on the topic of kind of like relationships and shit like that, um, it made me think about the fact that I've never been in one, you know? I've never been in a proper relationship with anybody, um... And at first, you know, like, throughout most of my life, throughout most of my life, um, I just, like, you know, I thought that's just how I was, you know? Um, I'm the type of girl who doesn't like being tied down or hasn't found someone who understands me and who, like, is looking for the same things that I want and if I'm in a relationship with someone it's gonna be for the real thing you know like it's gonna be for something unconditional and 
most of human connection. Like, it just seems really frail and really everyone comes with conditions. Most people come with conditions, you know, like, but I don't, I haven't found some, somebody that, you know, doesn't expect me to be a certain way, um, or, like, doesn't have, like, like, my, my view of relationship is so weird, it's like, I want the romance, but I also want, like, a, sen a slight bit of detachment. Sometimes I let him do what he wants, um, and I want, I would want the same for him to do onto me, you know, like, if we need to part ways for whatever reason, or if, like, He wants to go out there and just like, I don't know, fuck around or something. Um, I, I think I'd, like, obviously I'd be jealous, but I wouldn't let it get to a point where it ruins the relationship. Um, as long as I... <laughs> Okay, so now I'm, like, getting off track with what I wanted to talk about. But in the relationship... Wait, what am I saying? Sorry. But, like... Uh, when it comes to relationships, I, um... I've just never, like, been able to open up that way. And... Or I've never been able to find someone who's on the same page as me. Um, and yeah, I thought that like it was just how I was. There was nothing deep about it. But there was. You know, like, there is. There is. I have things that came up this year. Especially in October. Things that came up this year that made me analyze myself and see that I still have, like, trauma to work through that I repressed for most of my life, you know? Um, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, yeah. so nearly, like, 11 years of my life the reason why I am, like, <sighs> like, <sighs> that trauma that happened when I was, like, in my teen years, um, it, f it, it fucked up so much more of my life than I realized. Um, uh, and I'm about to get a little bit, like, m way more open than I have, but, like, in previous videos, but, like, I'm more of, like, the casual fling, fucking leave type of girl. Um, <laughs> which might be surprising to some of you because <laughs> I've had friends who literally think I'm a virgin. <laughs> um, but, because I, apparently I look so sweet and innocent or something like that. But, um... No, uh, I've always kind of, like, been more into, like, easygoing, not nothing too intense, um, except for the rare times I've been in love, like, maybe twice in my life I've been really in love with somebody, 
Um, I I didn't I didn't really think about like how not healed I am. And that reflects when I, when I, since I've like pretty much, my, 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 one of my best friends brought this to my attention. Like he actually told me, you know, like this is the way you've been behaving is a trauma response. I <laughs> used sex as like a way to cope and a way to feel powerful or like as a way to like feel like I am in control. Because when I got sexually assaulted again, when I was a teenager, uh, when I got molested again as a teenager, um, I understood straight away, you know, like I understood straight away what happened and, but I buried it. I buried it so deep in my subconscious that I was still even a, able to be around my abuser. For over 11 years. Um, and now, now that I've come to a point where, you know, I'm recognizing how badly it fucked me up, I'm just so angry. I'm so angry because, like, every person that reminds me of him every characteristic that they have like being like a bit of a narcissist or putting me down or belittling me or stomping all over me or yelling at me or like telling me off um anything that like this my my abuser did throughout the time I knew them like One of the biggest things that actually happened that is a reoccurring theme in my life is people kind of like throwing rocks at me and I just sit there and take it. Whether it's people like saying horrible things to me. Um, Or talking to me in a bad way. Like at the beginning of this year, I had I became friends with this girl who knew me for like less than six months. And I made videos about this bitch in the past. Cause that really like that was something that affected me, you know, like it was like the pattern that was continuing itself. You know, like the videos where I was talking, like if you've been 
following my vlogs and my channel for a while, like that video where I was talking about someone subtweeting me and stuff like that. Um, and I've had like friends who are no longer friends in the past who, you know, like spoke to me in an in intimidating way. And... It's like, um, I couldn't defend myself, but lately, lately, I've really, I've just had enough, you know, I've had enough, I've had enough of people, like, allowing people to talk to me like trash. There are people that I will always, like, let them take their shit out on me because, like, for, for example, somebody that I will always consider a soulmate. Like, they can take their shit out on me. I don't care. I know what she's, she's going through. Um, I understand her, like, mental process and stuff like that. So, she, it's, it's okay if she does it, but, like, anybody else, if anybody tries to put me down or put me below them or talk to me in an intimidating way. I'm trying to train myself to stand up for myself more. Um, because it's important. It's fucking important. Because if I don't, I'm going to continue to let people and this pattern of people thinking that they can stop all over me just because I'll sit there and fucking take it and I won't crush them. Like some, one of my uh, friends online tweeted something like, um, you can't throw rocks at somebody and expect them not to uh, throw a brick at you. that kind of mentality. I admit that it took me way too long to like be a bit stronger in myself. But at least I'm here now, right? So to anybody who has been in an abusive relationship or has trauma relating to somebody overpowering you I hope that you find the strength to like overcome that trauma and to any any person in my past who has spoken to me like shit. I don't thank you for the lesson at all. You can go fuck yourself, human trash. You're the reason for other people's pain, and you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> it sounds so cringy. Like, I, I feel cringy saying this, you know? The people of my past, like the people that abused me, don't even fucking know I exist anymore. You know? They did what they had to do. And they've gone on and are probably doing just fine. Um. But that's okay, because I'll be doing fine, too, eventually. Gaslighting, manipulating. That shit ain't fun. But it's a theme that kept on coming back into my life. Because I needed to learn something from it that I wasn't learning. <sighs> okay, so... 
like this video if you like actually like this video if you want me to talk about abusive relationships and symptoms of it how to look out for it how to see if your friends are kind of in an abusive relationship um from my experience you know it's not like actual psychological um Because, like, abusive relationships, they're hard to recognize. But these are some of the things that I've experienced, and these are some of the things that I've seen my friends experience, and how I knew that they were in an abusive relationship. So if you wanted a video like that, give us a video like. And um, I actually challenge you, if you have any trauma similar to this, make a response video share your trauma you know if you feel like it if you feel ready to because I'll admit like this 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 part of my life it is so private so I feel crazy for even making a video like this and I feel terrified because this is like, it's a weak spot for me and there are ugly people out there who can comment shit. Um, but I guess it's all part of the process to desensitize myself and be okay with ignorant people who don't understand the severity of these kind of things. If I'm going to put my life on the internet like this, you know, through YouTube videos, I'm going to have to get used to it. Um, so yeah, subscribe, have a lovely day or night. Bye guys.